Hey y'all, what are those bitch? Okay y'all, I done watched this bullshit, the fucking life after lockout bullshit. And it's, this ain't even a motherfucking review of the show. I just wanna talk about some shit y'all. These bum ass dudes on this fucking show make me fucking sick, okay? And the fact that these dudes, most of these dudes are in their 40s and 30s. Okay, I'm talking about your ass, Marcelino. You got a new baby coming and your your wife, Brittany, even though I know they, I think that they lying about her age. She's 29, your ass is 41. You over here complaining to her, like how about you don't want a job about how you just okay with being a fucking poker player. Are you fucking kidding me? And the most embarrassing thing about Marcelino is he ain't even the damn feeling. He was over here talking about, oh, babe, I can't get a normal job. I'm born to be a poker player. I live fine being a poker player. I was in the military before. I used to be a damn writer. I'm too good to be working a job and listen to some snot nosed ass 23 year old tell me what the fuck to do. Okay, I'm 41. I can't listen to anybody younger than me, bitch. And your ass, and you already have a, you already have a baby that's 16 months old, I think. She's like almost two or whatever. And you got another baby coming. And your ass is complaining about extra money and the fact that you don't want to get out there and work, okay? And I know I'm going to get some comments like, oh, Brittany can get a job. Well, Brittany's pregnant and she's a fucking felon. She even explained it to Marcia and Lena. Look, I ain't finished high school. I got all these fucking felons on my ass. And you over here, you ain't got no damn felon. And you complained about finding some real motherfucking work. Marcelino, you're a fucking loser. Even the fucking recruiter. He finally, you know, pulled up his big boy pants because I guess Brittany just kept nagging at his ass. And he went to like a job recruiter or whatever. And even the job recruiter was like, look, this nigga ain't shit. Look, this nigga, he thinks he all that, but he ain't nothing. Ain't nobody gonna hire his ass. He, he using all these big words and don't know what the fuck they mean. There ain't nothing more unfucking attractive than a man who will not work his ass off to provide for his fucking family, bitch, okay? Especially men who's that much older than the damn wife, okay? If I'm marrying somebody that's 10 to 15 years older than me, I want them to provide for my ass. Oh my God, and y'all, Lamar, okay, let's just stop talking about Marceline. I don't give a shit, you nigga, like, you need to get off your damn high horse, stop demanding 600, six, 60k or 70k you ain't got no damn experience bitch okay and start start from the bottom start flipping some burgers and work your way up because apparently you don't know what the fuck you talking about marcelino so anyway y'all lamar lamar he just got parole he happy as shit y'all but this nigga is a 45 year old rapper where they do that at i know you've been in jail most of your life lamar but goddamn like i'm saying about marcelino get a little practical job start flipping burgers and work your way up Go back to school or some shit. I thought he was a student, but now, oh no, he a rapper. He in the studio and shit. Get the fuck out of here. All these bum ass dudes on this damn show are disgusting. They all made my pussy shrivel up and dry, okay? And it made me happy that I'm sitting on my bed alone and I ain't got no little bum ass piece of shit it's laying next to me asking me for, for, for to donate some money to his damn cash app. And we gonna get to that soon, okay? Okay, so Lamar, he's 45. He's trying to start up his rap career. Ain't nobody gonna buy that fucking music, okay? Like who you think you is ice cube you think nwa is still popping you think easy e still alive nigga like no one's listening to a 45 year old rapper unless he's already made a few albums and he's a fucking legend ain't nobody listening to your ass lamar i mean you better be happy you even got on this show and you get a little coin from this damn show but this show won't last go back to school get a real damn job get your damn degree bitch stop using your prison uh time as excuse to be a fucking 45 year old rapper rum ass nigga okay oh my god y'all shane I know Shane is the youngest guy on this damn show, but Shane is a fucking bum too. I don't care if this nigga is, I mean, 22. You can get a damn job. Stop looking for Lacey to provide for your every fucking need. And you fucking Lacey on on fansonly.com is not going to fucking last. We all know that Lacey's, one of her tits are going to gonna start sagging. One of her ass implants are going to like explode, you know. One of her lip injections are gonna leak and she ain't gonna be fine no more. I mean, she ain't fine now, but she ain't gonna be nearly as sex doll looking as she is now in, in, in the next year or so when all of her implants just go haywire, bitch. And you ain't gonna have no fucking work, bitch. All you gonna have is the fact that you was fucking this blow doll. You ain't got no education. You ain't got no job experience. Fucking Lacey ain't job experience. This show probably ain't gonna last for another two years, bitch. And your ass is over here talking about my job is fucking Lacey. And all the fuck I got to say about Tony is 
Stop sucking grandma's tits. Stop using oh poor Angela as your damn place to stay. You're gonna give Angela a heart attack over here. You're gonna be the sole reason why she has a fucking heart attack or stroke. You stretching her the fuck out, you fucking loser. Get one of them hoes and re relocate. Get one of them prostitutes who, who, who have a trailer or some shit and live there. Stop using Angela. Okay, Tony, you're, you're, you're disgusting. Tony, I don't care if you work at a damn motel, you fucking, as an exchange for, you know, you you get you cheating on Angela and getting paid from your job. I hope your job finds out and fires your ass. You're a fucking bum too. Anyway, y'all. Last but not least, Michael. <laughs> you over here. Not only does Sarah still pay your damn phone bill, which is complete bum bum ass nigga. Like the ultimate bum nigga level is six thousand. Okay, um, you over here asking for money from all types of bitches. Not only Megan, there's many bitches. There's Maria's, there's Britney's, there's Amanda's all over the fucking country. Apparently, y'all all all getting giving some money to Mr. Forehead, Mr. Pinhead, pimp ass nigga. Okay, he ain't even cute, y'all. He must have a dick of gold. His dick much must be twelve inches on hard or some shit because ain't no fucking way I'm about to get my money to a damn pinhead ass nigga. The fuck? Like, I have too much dignity and pride in my damn self be giving my money away to a fucking merry pinhead, pinhead ass felon, okay? Oh my god, these mom ass dudes make my pussy dried up. If this show wasn't so fucking funny, I wouldn't be watching this dumb shit. Anyway, y'all, like, you know, I was sad a few days ago about being single, but this show just reinstored my faith that I'm happy to be single, y'all. I'm happy to not have no fucking bum ass ask me for no goddamn money. Anyway, y'all, and update on the Tony ticket, nah, to uh, to uh, Tokyo Tony thing. Apparently, Tokyo Tony deleted her Instagram, so I couldn't reach out to her. So I might try Twitter. I just hope she remembers my ass, y'all. And I was kind of sad because Tokyo Tony deleted her Instagram because I was really going to DM her and send her my videos and tell her, hey, I know it's been a while, but do you remember me, bitch? Yeah. Anyway, y'all, I just wanted to talk about some bum ass dudes. It's the most grossest thing ever. I might puke after watching this fuckery. <laughs> All right. Happy Friday. Bye, y'all. Mm -mm.